Uh, my name is James H. Carter II. I am doing a documentary about Haunted Mansion fans. And our documentary, we want to travel all over the country, possibly even the world, to meet uh, different Haunted Mansion fans to see how the, the mansions impacted their personal lives and their professional lives as well. Uh, personally, I mean, I've been coming to the parks um, since I was nine years old. And uh, the, my first tra time on the mansion uh, was still kind of fresh on my mind because uh, <laughs> I didn't really know what it was. My parents didn't know what it was either. <laughs> there was no internet. No one told me. And uh, the whole experience, I did Disneyland's first. That was the first mansion I went on. It was just uh, mind-blowing. Just going in the stretching room and like, you're like, what is that? You're usually like just getting, getting right on a ride. I feel that since there's not a real strong storyline that people kind of make their own and with that they they build a connection with it because it's their own experience and their own interpretation um, and I also feel like for a lot of people that are into uh, um, horror or darker type things that Haunted Mansion was probably one of their first uh, exposure to something like that at a very young age so they it's like sentimental value <laughs> as well that's my theory at least and I really feel like that with a few other things kind of helped my uh, what I kind of grew into, which is I kind of gravitate towards the creepier, uh, darker side of things. And professionally, I guess at all, is that I host the Creepy Kingdom podcast, which ties into all what I just said. It's about the creepiness of Disney. And with that, we cover a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff. So with that, I've met a lot of Haunted Mansion fans and artists that do Haunted Mansion art. And that's what kind of got me uh, going down this path, because... Uh, to explore what's really going on in the uh, Haunted Mansion fan culture. So we're about two weeks into our Kickstarter campaign, which has been a pretty amazing experience because since we went live, we've actually heard from way more people from them before when we just first announced the project. People like uh, uh, horror film directors, people that work in special effects that are so interested in the project that it's kind of like this growing organism that the, the more we're out there pushing and promoting it, the more people find out about it, the more people want to actually be a part of the actual film. So that's been pretty amazing. And we've gotten um, the, um, some horror directors such as Carolyn Axel and Mike Mendez to be a part of it. Uh, special effects artist uh, Robert Kurtzman. And again, I don't want to remember, I don't want to go through the name, I can't remember everyone's name off the top of my head, but there's, there's just so many people that have really jumped on, so it's been pretty awesome. And also, we've partnered with um, Imagineer Terry Harden, who is making exclusive things for our backers, and that's been pretty incredible, including a Hatbox Ghost pin and a Hatbox Ghost uh, figure as well. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a pretty awesome experience. And, you know, we're, we still have a little ways to go, so we're, we're in the thick of it right now. So if we could use everyone's support. And, you know, basically I like to look at it as not so much like giving money to something. I like to look at it more like uh, pre-ordering a movie, you know, a year or so before it comes out. Because that's what I do on Kickstarter for the projects that I back. You know, I think the finished product, the way I'd like it to be, I'd like it to be a love letter to the people who love the Haunted Mansion. And I think the fans can expect something that kind of matches the tone of the mansion. We want to make the film fun, yet kind of creepy. I know that we've already, we've already filmed um, a bunch of interviews already, and there's some real, there's a lot of fun and inspiring things in there. There's also some really dark, uh, heavy stuff in there as well. So it'd be a good balance of, uh, of you know, the entire human experience from what, it, what it's shaping up to be. So, you know, once we start filming, we're going to be traveling all over the country and I feel like it's going to take on its own, its own shape once we actually get out there and, you know, leave our, uh, the comfort of our, uh, of our homes to, <laughs> to, to, to document it. So to support our Kickstarter and to keep up with everything that we're doing on the documentary, all you need to do is go to foolishmortalsdoc.com.